How do map apps work? You open the app, type in your destination and bam, it instantly tells you how to get there faster than your brain can remember if it's left or right at the roundabout. But what sort of wizardry makes that happen? Well, behind the scenes, your phone is basically playing the world's nerdiest game of connect the dots. It treats every intersection like a dot and every road is a line, connecting them together. Congratulations, you've just entered the thrilling world of graph theory. Yes, that's really what it's called. No, it's not about pie charts. Now the app's goal is to get you from point A to point B with as little, oh God, why is there traffic here, as possible. It uses clever algorithms like Dijkstra's or A star, pronounced A star, not asterisk the goal, to calculate all the possible routes and then pick the best one. Not the shortest necessarily, but the fastest. Because five miles on a motorway is quicker than three miles through a school zone with 11 zebra crossings and people doing 15 in the 30 zone. And how does it know what the traffic is like? Easy, it spies on you and everyone else. Every phone using the app sends anonymous speed and location data, which lets the system know if the A13 is flowing freely or if it's become a car park again. In short, your phone knows you're stuck in traffic before you know you're stuck in traffic. Finally, it bundles up all that data, road speeds, traffic patterns, construction, and whether your route goes through Mordor, and spits out a route that says, this way, human, trust me. So next time your map app reroutes you through six roundabouts and a goat track, just remember, it's not confused, it's seen the other options, and it's saving you from them. More like this from the nerdiest people you know at craigandave.org.